Back, she was an executive at Scripps who was interested in caterpillars. When she retired, she had time to turn that hobby into a passion that supports scientific research, and you can help her too. Emily Stroud shares her story. It can take about 5,000 caterpillars to fledge a nest full of birds. That's just one group of baby birds. So they're incredibly important in terms of being part of the food source. And then as adults, the moths and butterflies are pollinators just the same as our bees are. She is a citizen scientist. Julie Elliott has volunteered for caterpillar expeditions through Earthwatch, where she works with actual scientists. This helped me take it to the next level where I'm actually working with scientists and watching them, you know, find these studies that help tell us what's going on in the world. So this is my caterpillar arium. This is where I hold all of my caterpillars as I collect them throughout the season. She transformed a shed into this caterpillar arium where she collects caterpillars from her own property. Collect, sort, and when they mature, release them back into nature here in East Tennessee. You walk slowly, you look at each tree, lift the leaves up, Oftentimes, caterpillars will hide on the underside of a leaf along the vein. And as you see a lot of my caterpillar pictures, a lot of them are long, thin, and green, and they look and blend in with those leaves. So you have to train your eye to look for those, those bumps or something a little bit different on those leaves. And as you can see, they're organized on each shelf by the food plant. So for example, this caterpillar eats from the cherry tree. This one eats witch hazel. There's sycamore, all the different plants and trees that we have on our property are represented here. I also take pictures of them in this little portable photo booth. She has more time to research on her own property since the coronavirus canceled her Earthwatch volunteer research trip to Costa Rica. National Geographic recently highlighted the work of scientists there, and her picture ended up in one article. The article in National Geographic that showed the um, surprising and shocking decline in all insects. She's on the board of Discover Life in America, DLIA.org. The organization counts species living in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Your family can get involved. On your iPhone, you can actually get a, an app called iNaturalist. It's a free app. And if you go to DLIA.org, they have a website that will show you how to use that app. It lets you take a picture of critters and plants, and then the app identifies it for you, and scientists have access to the research. When you're out there with your child and the kid says, what's that bug or what's that critter? You don't have to know the answer, but you just have to know how to get the kids to take the picture and let them become the citizen scientist. A citizen scientist like Julie Elliott. I'm Emily Stroud, live at 5 at 4. And there are more than 170,000 known species of caterpillars. Very interesting.